my brother's shirt to, to wear. Yeah, I thought about it. That's not bait. That's a heater. <laughs> that's bait tonight, oh, boys. Go in my oh, belly. <laughs> Met a woman, got engaged, time passed, wedding day, and my feet turned cold at the tone of those wedding bells. I felt bad, everybody got dressed up, but I knew I'd messed up, so I had to wear something all I really wanted was just to get drunk as hell. We don't have a lot of great cut banks, so a lot of our sets are in the water. Do you want to grab a pole? Yeah. <laughs> we brought a carpenter. Caught these over at the boat launch about an hour and a half ago. He's got heart. Yeah, so I'm using Onyx um, to mark where every pole is. You know, it's unforgetful. <laughs> At least you admit it. Well, first step of the 12-step program is admitting you have a problem, right? So every bank pole needs to have your, the fisherman's information on it. Just like a uh, trap tag you'd have for setting muskrat traps or beaver traps. What side, Captain? Starboard. Whoa. I know. I That's like the hole. We got some good current coming through here. We'll see how it does. You wouldn't be able to do have any Chinese garbage. Stuff's made right here in America. So after you beat it into the bank, the system has it so you got the barrel swivel, it comes out, the full length of line is inside the, the pole itself. You thread this back into the pole. If I can get it started here, there we go. Righty tighty lefty loosey. I'm Polish, but I'm also German too. <laughs> As I learned, it's best to do this over the hull of the boat. Sometimes you can drop your rigging down into the river and you need to waste these big daddy hooks. Now you're rigged up. Reach the live well. Feel around for a, a lively one. Yeah? Uh, I, I can be even better than that. Oh yeah. Now you set them in the water so the weight's just below the surface. So you get, you get the line in the groove, hold her down with your finger, wrap her a couple tree times. Set that one a little deeper. Yeah, we gotta go Put deeper. There you go. And we're fishing. So that's only like three feet deep? Yeah. Well, I try to keep the bait towards the top. Is that when they're swimming around, they're splashing, making noise? The flatheads would come up at night into the shallows and cruise the shallows like on the shelves. So this the shoreline comes out and it shelves and drops down. They'll come up to the, sh the shallows at night and cruise for bait. Good morning.
Hey, you guys. We're going to go check poles. I think we got a monster. Or we might not have anything. But well, we're going to try them anyways. We'll check them. Rebate them. We'll leave them for the day. Yeah, we got good rock structure on the upstream side. Got a nice little log jam right here. Let's see what we got. Pole's a little still though. I don't like that. I don't like that, still poles. That's not a good sign usually. Sustaining that attention real still. <laughs> First pole I ever checked in my life. I just grab a hold of this thing and throw it in a boat. Oh yeah. That's a lively bait. Good bait. Good live bait. We start bait to make it. Wish it wasn't. Bob? Yeah. Fish out in that one. Unless it's just the bait. We'll go check that one first. That one looks pretty quiet. That's the bait in the current. Oh no, there's a fish on. Oh. Hold on. Let the boat get set. I'll go to horse them. Hold on, hold on. Fish on, boys! Locate the hook. Stick your hand in its mouth. Pull it in the boat. Andy Novak's first flathead. First flathead ever. Man, Look at that. Man. There you go. Hold your left hand up a little bit. There you go. Pierced him. This is. I didn't really do anything. <laughs> 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 Check the pool, man. Fuck yeah, boys. Got one. Hell yeah. Cut him loose. Cut him loose. We're not gonna eat him. Nah, he's. Okay. Look at the small ones. <laughs> That's a sweet shot. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, Lordy! Yeah, buddy. That was a monster. Don't let that one go, okay? <laughs> Recap is uh, I'm addicted to hog logs.